creation forms will evolve as our projects and workflows do. So as admins, we want to be flexible and respond to feedback. Creation forms are the forms everyone will use when creating a record in Shotgun, like a row of data and spreadsheet terms. We access these from entity pages, like a projects page, assets page, shots page, sequence page, levels page, and more. We can also access creation forms via the global new menu or anywhere we can create something new. There are two types of creation forms, project and global, which we'll cover in more detail. When we launch these creation forms, we can configure the default fields displayed via the gear menu. This gear menu access is specifically controlled by advanced permissions, edit form layouts, when this permission is checked, people within that permission role can configure creation form layouts. Useful for limiting who can make these updates so we aren't stomping on each other's changes. When we configure the layout, we can save which fields will be displayed and in which order, and can configure the following per field settings. Display field label, which is on by default. Override field label, which can be used if we want to override a field name in the context of the creation form. Hint text, which adds a tooltip underneath the field, great for naming convention information or any additional information needed upon creation. Required for creation, which is helpful when we want to enforce users to populate a field before allowing the record to be created. As a best practice, limiting the number of required fields not only keeps the design simple, but helps also speed up the creation process. Use tall text box will lengthen the text box, which is handy for fields that typically require more text to be entered. When we make a configuration change to the form, we'll see a blue modified button, which means that we still need to commit these changes. We have the option to revert the form to its previously saved state, the state it was saved at in this specific project, save the form, which will make it the default form used in this specific project, revert form to global default, which will revert the form to its previously saved global state, save form as global default, which will save the form to the saved global default. If we take no action in committing these changes and ignore the blue dot, the form will reset to its previously saved state the next time we activate it. Since we made modifications that will be used site-wide and not just on this project, let's save this form as the global default for shots. But if we wanted this to be applied to our signal project only, we would select Save Form instead. Let's save the form for signal shots next so we commit the changes for the project. Global default forms can be accessed through the admin menu, default layouts, entity, and form. Access to default layouts is controlled by advanced permissions, show admin menu items, site settings, default layouts. Notice how our global shot form reflects the changes we made, and whenever we create a new shot, these fields will be presented. Configuring and saving creation forms happens per entity. This form reflects shots only, and other entities like sequence and assets have their own forms. We recommend keeping the default forms as clean and simple as possible by only including important fields relevant at the time of creation. Also, keeping global defaults up to date and applying those forms to projects will help cut down on maintenance while standardizing our initial data input. But for more diverse projects, per-project forms give us the flexibility needed for data control. Lastly, when creating something, users that have the permissions to access the gear menu will have the option to close the form upon creation, reset the form upon creation, keep form values upon creation,
These options will be active while in the creation form, and though the default will always be set to close form on create, any user that has the permission to create an entity can use the Option-Alt key on their keyboard to create and keep form values to speed up the process.